out down smash. Not able to get the wedge guard. Oh! <laughs> find out here we go back on fd and now it is terry versus jake's steve and we've got the sonic music on deck to boot what a day and definitely playing a more measured neutral than we saw earlier in the tournament definitely playing a little bit safer here but the problem is is unlike against rob even missing those safe moves can be a problem into those disjoints that Steve has. And you still got to deal with that minecart. What am I talking about? Minecart? Terry doesn't care about a minecart. Just kick it to pieces. There's a, that's like a, that's supposed to be a Street Fighter thing, isn't it? Where you beat up the car? Come on, that's not even the right game, Terry. Get with it. That minecart just getting Jake out of these sticky situations. That ledge trap game we saw in Audi Pool last set against the Rob is just not going to be a thing here. When Jake can just pull the minecart out slide on by and go back to farming for diamonds which speaking of the first diamond is here i would expect that we're going to see that those diamond tools get built here in just a second well they're able to get the grab oh try to go for the the uh the oh what is it called the power geyser that's the one but not able to get it out minecart just came in just before the hitbox anality though immediately responding with that forward smash on ledge. We see the diamond tools coming out, but Jake still just trying to farm up, get that diamond in the pocket as we've been seeing throughout the day. Always wanna have that backup diamond so that when your diamond tools do break, you're not totally out. Oh, big, big block combos there. Solid chunk of damage. And Aldi though, just burning the uh, burning the, the Buster, that's not Buster Wolf, Buster Wolf's a powerful one. Uh, back to stage, that horizontal recovery just preventing the ledge trap game from having to be played because you do not want to be playing ledge traps in this game, in this matchup. Get up attack, not going to be enough iframes, and TNT is going to claim that stock. And we've got ourselves another block combo with the pickaxe. No spike there, though, but a solid 56%. Jake looking at an entire stock lead plus. It's going to be a lot for Anality to try to get back. But if Anality can get a good stock here and or survive above 100% and get those go moves online, this is still very doable. This is a character that's known for blowing people up when the game gets down to these clutch moments. So this is still reasonably anyone's game at TNT. Definitely a problem, but Power Dunk going to just sail right over that problem. We're not dealing with that today. Minecart, though, to the pickaxe. No answer for that. Game one going over to Jake. And you're definitely seeing the difficulty in Terry trying to get in on Steve here. If they want to stay in Grants and find that bracket reset. And now that he's switching to Snake, that's not a fighting game character. Hold on, what is this? All right, this is one of those last minute, like, all right, I got to do something different. These characters aren't working kind of picks. I'm wondering though, I haven't seen an alley play snake. I'm wondering how, how, you know, tournament ready is this snake? Oh, with those grenades, it's looking pretty tournament ready. Immediately the C4 and a grenade set up on stage, missiles. Yeah, it, it's, it's a lot harder to mine when you're having to deal with uh, an onslaught of grenades, missiles, and other nonsense. It turns out it's a lot harder. That diamond, though, actually already on deck. That might be the fastest we've seen diamond. Maybe it's actually not that much harder, come to think of it. Both grenades kind of knocked that missile off track. I don't think that was intentional. And if anything, was kind of unfortunate. Gave Jake a lot more time to react to that, finish mining up, and then get back to making the wall. And the grenades just not really doing a great job against that wall. Grenade to roll through the cart, though. That definitely... That was kind of spicy. I don't know if that's something we can set up consistently, but if, if Anality can set that up consistently, that could be a real troublemaker for Steve. Mortar is going to land there. Anality just setting up the traps to the best of their ability. Lots of grenades going around, but... SC4, so much damage on shield. Shielding out those aggressive options as well, too, and just letting the grenades do the work. Oh, that wall! <laughs> Bounced the grenade right back. That is certainly something to be careful of. 
this constant grenade pressure. But now Jake does have diamond, I believe, crafted the tools. Yep, has has both diamonds, can play the game to the fullest extent. Doesn't have to worry about farming for anything, can just focus on navigating this wall of nonsense, finding the big hits. There's that pickaxe. Anality gonna have to recover here. That's the other nice thing. Anality can go high in this matchup. Oh, and maybe not that high though. Up smash gonna catch Anality's landing. And that's gonna be the first stock going to Jake. Oh, caught Jake fishing for that up tilt, that that forward that forward uh, forward walking up tilt, maybe a little bit too greedily. And uh, Snake's up tilt's got a little more range than the animation would suggest. Just enough to take that stock. Anality though, just how do you pressure around this wall without getting close? With you know what I mean, like you've got what Nikita, and that's it. Because these grenades, the arcs they're flying at are just not doing it. And the more time that Jake has to just mine for more diamonds is more and more of this matchup slipping out of Anality's fingers. Jake trying to find something to fish off these platforms. The movement looking really fierce from Anality here. That is definitely something they've got going in their favor, but caught on the wave bounce. Dave Far Jake with the prediction hits the up smash. That missile not going to kill the minecart and actually sets up the command grab into the pick. One button. Shutting down Snake's entire zoning plan and taking the stock. Jake now with a stock lead here. And Aldi looking for those down throw grenade combos. Not quite going to find it there, but just spamming the stage full of grenades. There's no jump available for an Aldi right now, so the air dodge is the only option. It was enough, though. Another down throw option here. Looking for the tech. Not going to happen. Jake just gets up and forward smashes. I am not getting caught by that up tilt. No sorry. I am not losing this game. I'm not losing this game that way. That grenade covering Snake's recovery there. Catching Jake just a little bit too high with the back air. Just wasn't quite spaced right. Another diamond sword forward smash from Jake is going to take game three. Jake's going to build a nice little house there at the end to live in. And that's grand finals. Jake takes the tournament with a 3-0 over Inality in grand.